Hello everyone in this video let us uh, fetch the count of custom fields in your Jira instance uh, directly from uh, the database. So there are two tables that I want to talk about today. The first table is uh, custom field. So if you do this, uh, so if you run this query, simple query, select star from custom field, it will simply give you list of custom fields that you have in your Jira instance. So you can compare it with your uh, with your list in Jira. If I go to my Jira instance and if I type in uh, custom fields, I have a lot of custom fields, but I may want to just change the order here. So order by CF name. Let us let us run this. So we have fields like approvals, approval, cab, change, completion date, and so on. And uh, hopefully it matches uh, the uh, fields that we have here. So what I want to do now is I want to basically find out is there any value in these uh, custom fields because I may want to delete this custom field. We have been talking about quite a lot that custom fields, too many custom fields is one of the main reason of bad performance in your Jira instance. So there is a table called uh, custom field value. If you run this, and uh, you can of course take a look at the output so basically in this particular table you have the association of the issue and the custom field so basically for this issue uh, here you can see uh, this particular issue which is 1005 has this custom field it was updated on this particular date or i, I should say not really has this field but uh, there's a value for for this particular field stored for this issue it did this custom field may not be on the screen uh, it could be maybe in a workflow screen but uh, the association of a custom field is there with the issue and usually for a custom field value you will have uh, string value number value text value and so on for example for my custom field 10133 i can try to search in the in the Jira instance so let us see if uh, so let me try to find out the field 10133 okay 1 cf 10133 it's a bit difficult to do this so I'll probably check for something like uh, change member 10121 do we have something here let me check 10121 um not really i'm just trying to find out uh, or i can just check directly i mean i can do a join but i wanted to basically see quickly 10133 let us check here so for 10133 one zero one three three where is this field yep so this is the field it says time to time to approve normal change so i'll go back to my to my custom field value so one zero one three three is uh, time to approve normal change let me check in the database time to approve normal change okay i found this field and I can do simply like if is not empty. So it will basically display all the issues. Uh, time to approve. Can we use something else? This is, is not really supported. So it is basically a time field. And uh, maybe I can do it, do something like this. No, I need to revise my 
uh, JQL. Let me try to try try to use the uh, basic search because I wanted to no not assign any more time to approve normal change. I, I'll use the JQL to prepare a query for me. So what else? Ah, so basically, it says I have to use the the advanced search but anyways let, let us let let me try to show you what i have want, wanted to do so basically for this particular issue which is 1000 no 10005 if i search for this issue and i can do that using uh, id is equal to this and we have the issue now so this is the issue we have this particular uh, field is uh, for this particular field, this value is stored, maybe somewhere, I, maybe it, it is in the database. But we can check, of course, for other issues, maybe uh, something like, uh, so it's a string value. So for 100135, there is a string value called IAS16. Let us see if we have this particular uh, value here. No, so it's probably, so this can happen. You can have custom fields stored having some values but those values are not those custom fields may not be on the screen which is fine uh let me check this one it says launch android app the issue is 10108 let us let us try to search for this uh, for this issue search for issue id is equal to 10108 10108 launch android app so i think this is the epic name i guess if i change it to epic name um i think it's a no, it's a normal field new name so this is the field i believe epic name and uh, if i go to the database again and if i do a if i run this query again No, this is not the field. Um, launch epic. L let me check the custom field uh, ID 10103. If I run this and custom field ID 10103, this one. So launch android app is fine but what is the name of the field that i wanted to check okay so 10103 i'm trying to find the field where id is equal to one zero one zero three. Let us just search it very quickly. So the field is epic name. Okay, so this is fine. And uh, if I check the value here in the database, where ID is equal to one zero one zero three. So there is no value here let let us do so it's custom field not the id so custom field now of course right now i'm trying i'm trying to show you um the values stored Oh, okay. So yeah, th I think I was looking at a different issue. So this is, you, so you can see here, launch Android app, new name. The issue ID is 10108. So this is fine. I think uh, this, I mean, we, we know that these are, the these are the tables where you can find the information. But uh, the query that I wanted to talk about today is uh, basically this one. So now you want to know for each and every custom field in your Jira instance, how many values 
or for how many issues there is a value in those fields. Now, if you run this particular query, so basically I'm trying to join these two tables. And uh, if there is an entry in this table, which is custom field value, it means that uh, so the value could be either a string num string value or a number value or a text value or a date value or a value or, or you know some value. So if there is an entry here, it means that uh, that particular issue, uh, it means that there is something in that particular custom field and uh, uh, it will give you an idea. So if there is no entry here, then uh, it means that you don't have any uh, any any value stored for that particular custom field. Now, if you run this particular query, uh, it will tell you immediately for each and every field, like story points, there are 64. Uh, so the count is 64. It means that uh, you you can see here immediately that this, this field is the most used field, and so on. So you can see here fields like impact epic status, organization, urgency. So let us check for urgency. If I go to my Jira instance and if I do a quick search here, hopefully I can use the is not empty. So we have two issues where urgency is filled in. And if you look here, we have indeed two, the count is indeed two. Uh, we can do that for maybe something else. Can we tr can we try it for story points? L let us let us see story points. I I don't know if it will work, but story points is not empty. Sixty four and sixty four indeed. So by looking at this particular uh, output, you can immediately see here that there are a lot of fields where just one value is stored. So it will give give you an idea maybe you want to delete those fields or maybe you want to just get rid of them and uh, you can always you know look in the in the database to do this uh, very quickly and uh, this particular uh, query can be very important because uh, as i mentioned earlier from time to time you should be looking at your custom fields not only the values but also don't create duplicate fields with the same name. It is probably the most important thing that you can do to improve the performance of your Jira instance. And uh, if you see here, let us say values like one, two, three, four, five, it means that you can probably move those uh, values or the values stored in those custom fields, maybe, maybe in a label or maybe somewhere else, because uh, it means that no one is actually using these fields and you can also check on the update updated date if you want but i think it will give you a very clear indication on uh, the usage of the custom fields so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much